in this session i'll be going to discuss h plain t how h plain t functions and how to calculate scattering matrix of h plain t so here you can see h plain t in this video where this is h arm and these are two wings of h plain t so to understand how this h plain t functions let us try to understand what if we give input to h arm so here this is h arm where if i give input to this h arm output at this two arm will be same and in phase so if i give certain amount of power over here that will get equally divided into this two ports and that two output at this two port will be in phase and this arm h arm is perfectly matched so if i give certain amount of input over here there will be no reflection from this port so that is how basic working which is there with h plain t now let us try to calculate what is there inside of this h plain t so here we can see a basic diagram of h plain t where this is h arm let us say this is port 3 this is port 1 and this is port 2 now in this h arm if we give input reflection is at this arm will be zero and signal which is going inside of this h arm that is equally getting divided into port 1 and port 2 and this two output will be in phase so before we draw basic scattering matrix let us try to understand how to solve that by using basic functioning of h plain t so as it have been discussed earlier port 3 means h arm is perfectly matched arm so because of that return loss at port 3 is zero so we can say s33 is equals to zero if we give input at port 3 output at port 1 and port 2 is same and in phase so output at 1 and 2 is equal and in phase if in phase if input is given at 3 port 3 means h arm and at 1 and 2 output is same so we can say input at port 3 output at port 1 is equals to input at port 3 output at port 2 now in h plain t it follows symmetricity so sij is equals to sj i so it means s12 is equals to s21 s13 is equals to s31 and s23 is equals to s32 so these are the basic rules which we can apply to h plain t which is what resulting into scattering matrix so again let us have a quick review port 3 is perfectly matched so return loss at port 3 is zero so s33 is zero if input is given at port 3 then output at 1 and 2 is same and in phase so s13 is equals to s23 and it follows symmetricity so s12 is equals to s21 s13 is equals to s31 and s23 is equals to s32 so s matrix that is s11 s12 s13 s21 s22 
एस टू थ्री एस थ्री वन एस थ्री टू एस थ्री थ्री नाउ दैट इज गेटिंग ट्रांसलेटेड इन टू एस थ्री थ्री इज जीरो एस वन वन एस टू टू एस वन टू इज इक्वल्स टू एस टू वन सो एस वन टू ओवर हीयर एस वन थ्री इज इक्वल्स टू एस थ्री वन सो एस वन थ्री ओवर हीयर एस टू थ्री इज इक्वल्स टू एस थ्री टू एंड एस वन थ्री इज इक्वल्स टू एस थ्री वन सो दिस विल बी एस थ्री वन एस वन थ्री एंड दिस इज इवन एस वन थ्री सो दिस इज द बेजिक स्कैटरिंग मैट्रिक्स नाउ वी विल बी सॉल्विंग दिस स्कैटरिंग मैट्रिक्स बाई यूजिंग आइडेंटिटी प्रॉपर्टी सो एज पर आइडेंटिटी we can say s s conjugate is equals to identity matrix so as we have derived right now s11 s12 s13 s12 s22 s13 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 Zero into conjugate of it, so that is S one one star, S one two star, S one three star, S one two star, S two two star, S one three star, S one three star, S one three star. Zero is equals to identity. So diagonal is one. so this is what the identity property which is what resulting into multiple equation and we will be solving those equations so to solve this unknown parameter first we will be taking multiplication of rows and columns so first if we multiply first row with first row so r1 c1 so that will result into s11 square plus s12 square plus s13 square is equals to 1 As per R two C two, S one two square plus S two two square plus S one three square is equals to one, and as per R three C three, we can say S one three square plus S one three square is equals to one. So that is resulting into S one three is equals to one by root two. now we have s13 value s13 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 this now we have four unknown s11 s22 s12 so these are unknown which is what we need to calculate so for that first we will be doing multiplication of first row with third row so if we do r1 c3 S11 into S13 plus S12 into S13 is equals to zero. So S11 into S13 plus S12 into S13 is equals to zero. So that is resulting into S11 is equals to minus S12. And if we place S13 value, one by root two, in this two equation, then this two equation will be S11 square plus S12 square is equals to S13 square is half, so this will become half, one minus half, and this equation even will be S12 square plus S22 square is equals to half. now based on this two equation based on this two equation we can say s12 is same common in both so we can say s11 is equals to s22 so now we have two relations 
S11 is equals to minus S12 and S11 is equals to S22. So, if we use S11 is equals to S22 as well as S11 is equals to minus S12, then we will be having S11 and S22 that is half. So, we can say S12 is equals to minus half. So, if we place all those values which we have calculated recently, scattering matrix for H plan T that will be 1 by root 2, 1 by root 2, 0, 1 by root 2, 1 by root 2, this is half and this is minus half. So, that is how we can have scattering matrix of H plane T. So, this is how we can identify what is the scattering matrix of H plane T and this scattering matrix is useful to use H plane T in some applications where we give input at port 3 and we can divide this to output at port 1 and port 2. Thank you for watching this video. If any query is there, please place it over here so that I can help you out for that. And if you like my video, please subscribe to this channel. And in future, even I will be placing so many videos to explain microwave. Thank you so much for watching.